been a stressful journey, but also interesting. All thanks to our facilitators for teaching us everything that we have known so far. God bless them. And special appreciation to Nigerian breweries. So what we've done was to put in place something structured whereby a couple of them, 50, not, not less than 50 of them, have been trained. So uh, basically it's for them to become empowered so that, so that they can take care of themselves and their immediate families. So my advice for these ones who are actually graduating today is that they should take it as an advantage and make sure that whatever they have learned during this um, program, they make it into a very positive so We had so many people who applied, but they had the capacity to train 50. And at least that's a reduction from the... Thank you very much. May we be seated, please. And Women Empowerment Program 2022. Of course, let me just say briefly that the program is happening, as it's happening here, it's happening simultaneously all over Nigeria. So that gives an understanding that indeed Nigeria Bureau is doing a whole lot of wonders as it concerns uh, their uh, CSP, but she is actually uh, duly represented by Mrs. Abimbola Adesoy. This to you, our very regard for your father, Abesi. Etusheta Abesi. Etusheta Abesi. We have no time. Let's do this very quickly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, let's give our MC a round of applause once again. Thank I was a star of Nigerian breweries. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of the 2022 Nigerian Breweries Empowerment Program. We are equally honored at this opportunity to give back to our own people who have supported us since we commenced operations 76 years ago. This year, the NB Empowerment Program was held in six locations, Lagos, Abuja, Ota, Kaduna, Enugu, and Awomama, to support a total of 472 women and youths in 20 skill areas with training and provision of startup tools. This initiative drives home our corporate philosophy to win with Nigeria by supporting our youth and women on their journey to entrepreneurship, employment generation, and financial independence. Permit me to provide some basic background about this initiative. The Nigerian Breweries Youth and Women Empowerment Program commenced in 2019 with a pilot scheme in Aomama, a brewery host community in Imo State. That year, 105 youths selected from the seven villages that made up the community were trained across five skill areas and equipped with startup tools to commence their journey into entrepreneurship. In 2020, the program was expanded to five brewery host communities, namely Ama in Enugu, Kapuri in Kaduna State, Awomama in Imo State, as well as Ota and Ijebode in Ogun State. A total of 347 persons benefited in training and received startup tools in their relevant fields of training. In 2021, the program impacted 441 youth and women across 20 skill areas in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, 
Kapuri in Kaduna State, Lagos State, Ibadan in Oyo State, and finally Awo Mama in Imo State. This year we are graduating 472 youth and women from six locations nationwide. <laughs> Specifically for OTA, we shall be graduating 67 participants who have completed the 12 weeks of training. and acquired skills in one of the following vocations, tailoring and fashion designing, catering and events decoration, information technology, makeup artistry, hairdressing, and styling. At this point, I want to say congratulations to all our graduates. I urge you to please put all you have learned into maximum use. And on behalf of Nigerian Bruce PLC, I wish you all the very best. To mark, to mark the end of this training program, we will also be providing you with some startup tools to support you on this new journey. In conclusion, I wish to thank Her Excellency, the wife of the Governor of Ogun State, Olota Obota, who has really supported us on this journey, Executive Secretary Mann, State Heads of SMEDAM and NDE, Director SON, and you all for your sustained commitment to the people of the state. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I honor you all for being here to our invitation. Thank you and God bless. My name is Sisa Bimbola Akinsonia, and I'm highly honored to be representing Her Excellency, the First Lady of Open State, Mrs. Bandele Abiodun, at the the graduation ceremony of the Nigerian Breweries PLC Open State 2022 Youth Empowerment Program participants. Um, first, I'd like to say a good afternoon to the to His Royal Majesty of our Professor Abu Kadri Abu Kabir Adeyemi Landlege, the Landlege Ebu Second. Or Lotta of Otta. Um, all the other royal fathers here present, Kabye Sisa, um, Mr. Shemu Akinwade, the Bruby Manager Otta, Mr. Danjuma John Ekele, the Corporate Affairs Manager West, um, other members of the high table, uh, my dear sister, Mrs. Lami Dedairo. And um, a big welcome to all the beneficiaries and their loved ones, Eshego, Arayo Beo, and uh, all the other distinguished ladies and gentlemen. And this is the speech from the lady, um, from the first lady. I'm delighted to join you today for the graduation ceremony of the 50 participants, or maybe now 69, of the Nigerian Breweries Open State 2022 Youth Empowerment Program. Thank you to Nigerian Breweries PLC for this very laudable initiative seeking to empower young people through training, skills acquisition, and providing the essential startup tools to boost their respective skills. I'm happy to lend my voice and support to the work that you are doing and to encourage continued investments by the private sector in youth empowerment and job creation. Young people make up more than 60% of Nigeria's population. Therefore, we must pay attention to their aspirations and support their dreams. With the current trend of people leaving the country for greener pastures, not everyone will be opportune to leave. For those who remain, it is our responsibility to spark hope and give them faith in the future of their nation. We must encourage to stay hopeful, even in the face of adverse situations, and work together to build study structures and systems in our communities that will foster sustainable development for our people. 
we are all witnesses to the challenges the world is experiencing. But despite all that is happening, young Nigerians continue to start business, seize and innovate their way out of many of the challenges they face. Our job in this regard is to lend a helping hand and encourage others to do the same. The Youth Empowerment Program and others like this are the catalyst needed to help them reach their true potential. So, a big thank you to Nigerian Bureau PLC for this initiative. I wish you many, many years of success in doing business in Nigeria. Thank you all. My name has been said is Bonaj and I represent the club called the Gomode Club here in Ota. That's the number one club and the foremost club here in Ota. I'll just go down memory lane a little. Sometimes in 2021, the federal government got a project which they call Skills and Vocational and Skills Acquisition Center. And the content we had the site Unfortunately, it became a problem to get a location we had to site that center. And we were contemplating on taking it to another place. In the sum of a song, we feel such a thing should not escape us here in Ota. We have been denied so many things here in Ota. We don't really have any federal government presence when it comes to the educational sector. So we need the skills action center. We can get from there. We should take it. So we met in our club and we asked them the land, the parcel of land, the actual site. You know, they told us I was to promote it free of charge to the community. <laughs> and KBLC gave us that task that we should please monitor that project. And we have been monitoring and we are able to secure it for that project up to now. The kind of training you are giving facilitated us. God bless you. You have done wonderfully well on this children. How do I know? I won't mention his name. I have my son sitting here today as a beneficiary. And I got him in on that program. And I was monitoring his performance at home. In terms of what he was learning, I won't tell you what he learned. So you don't know him. And I can tell you today, he's my teacher in the house. The God bless of that time. And I'm sure this is not the last one you're going to do for us. When are you doing the next one? I shouldn't worry. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. A round of applause for the president, the president of the Commander Club. Firstly, I want to thank the Nigeria Bureau. All of us that have been here, let us stand up and jam our hands for them. <laughs> Say thank you very much for the job well done. Please sit down. Uh, actually, you have done very well. At Ijako there, you are my, I am your landlord there. Woody Ota is the next community after Ijako. And I want to testify that you have been doing very well. And if we are looking at it that only 50 people are benefiting, it's a capital line. I can assure you that millions of people are either directly or indirectly benefiting from this logical achievement. Because when you are enabled and you are economically productive, you will be able to provide me with add the testimony of people talking about how they'll be useful to themselves and even their family. So the opportunity given to us by Nigerian tourists has extended beyond an individual that has been chosen for this empowerment program. It has called a to society. Of those who will be uh, trained on capacity building, and then um, we'll be able to see how we can accommodate everybody. Um, I say congratulations once again, and thank you very much for having me. That's, that's open. For those, this is, you can see, this is the laptop that will be given to the ICT 
uh, department. You can see the sewing machine. Of course, as part of it, you can see also the scissors. You understand? You can see the scissors machine. You can see also the gas cylinder that is going to be used as it is. But look at look at this. This is the makeup bar. There are a whole lot of items filled up there. So it is start up. As soon as they get the, they can just that we have to show for you. Wow. Look at this dress too. Tailoring and fashion designing. You can see, I just showed you, they are actually also the ones that so particular day. A lot of things that they have done. We just decided to show a few of these items. <laughs> So just know we're just picking, we're just picking, you're just picking, please. La Sisi, second act. Then the last. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Prince Barista Adewale Adeyonju Obanalege. Like I said while I was talking in the hall, it's a very good uh, move on the part of Nigerian beauties because this is something that has not been happening. You know, we have so many companies in our soil, and Nigerian beauty is the company that decided on their own floor league to say, okay, let us give back to this society that has been flourishing. The soil is vital for us to grow our business and the available youth, men and women, who perhaps are just being affected by the uh, situation of the country. So they've decided on their own without even looking at the legal obligation of corporate social responsibility. They decided to say, okay, well, let us give back to the society by training the youth. You know, we had so many people who applied, but they had the capacity to train 50. And at least that's a reduction from the uh, population, uh, you know, jobless population. So we appreciate them a lot. My name is Danjuma John Ekele, Corporate Affairs Manager for Nigerian Breweries for the West. But, you know, basically, you know, there's so many of our youths who, uh, who, who are the desirous of one skill or the other. So what we've done was to put in place something structured whereby a couple of them, 50, not, not less than 50 of them, have been trained, skilled across uh, uh, fashion design, catering, event management, tailoring, uh, and um, fashion designing, so, so to say. So uh, basically it's for them to become empowered so that they can take care of themselves and their immediate families. I'm the project manager. I'm the project manager of um, this particular program, the Women and Youth Empowerment Program of Nigerian Bureau 2022. It's we can see the youth. They are actually the pillar of development and growth of any particular community. Then consequently, the entire society. So my advice for these ones who are actually graduating today is that they should take it as an advantage and make sure that whatever they have learned during this um, program, they make it into a very positive youth. Of course, they have now been taken away from the youth now because sometimes it brings about restless, uh, restiveness, it brings about um, tension in the society, but because of what has happened now in the last three weeks, in the last um, three months, I'm sure that they will be able to get to the next level. So my fundamental advice for them is to take advantage of this particular program so that they can add value to their lives. My name is Salako Muturayo and my vocation is fashion design. It has been a stressful journey but also interesting. All thanks to our facilitators for teaching us everything that we have known so far. God bless them. And special appreciation to Nigerian breweries 
for everything that they have done for us. We really appreciate and it is only God that can favor them as well. So God bless you all. Thank you very much. I am so happy to be part of this program. Really, really happy because it is one thing to learn and another thing to just make use of it. And I am very sure this is a very great opportunity to everybody, each and every one of us. Really appreciate God bless you all. Thank you.